So it happens, let, let's suppose the sun is over in this direction, when the moon comes before the sun, between the sun and the earth. And so then the moon's shadow is cast on the earth, and that's, that's what we're going to be under during the eclipse. Well, there are some breaks, and every time the sun pokes out, the crowd gets excited and a little bit restless. So it's hard to say. You know, the weather can shift real quickly in this area because of the updraft and the downdraft with the falls. But right now, we're all anxiously anticipating a little bit of sun because if the sun does come out, and we experience the full solar eclipse, the rainbow will change to pink. So it's something we won't see again for a long, long time. So we're hopefully we get to experience it. Mike, the crowd went wild and it's still fairly cloudy here. But as you can see, I have my glasses on because every time I look up to the, the part of the sun, the sun is just trying so hard to get through the clouds and I can actually see the little bit of yellow through these thick thick glasses so the sun is trying and every time that that sun comes through this crowd you see the oohs and the ahs so every time the sun gets through this crowd gets excited oh, you just really gotta stop and pause and take that in it's really uh, extraordinary really fun for me uh, to be back here in Canada I just crossed over the footbridge from the U US side I'm in this area for the eclipse on Monday but my name is Jeremy Hansen, an astronaut with the Canadian Space Agency and uh, the eclipse is just a really unique opportunity for us to kind of pause and, and come together as a human race and observe something spectacular, something extraordinary. Let's so, check in with Anthony down at Table Rock. We're now about six minutes away from totality. Anthony, how cold is it getting there? You look like you're shivering a bit. I should have brought a parka today, Mike. Uh, it is getting a lot colder, and it must have dropped two or three degrees in the last 40 minutes. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's actually gotten more cloudy. As I put my glasses on and I look towards the sun, I can't even see the sun, to be honest with you. It's uh, completely covered by the clouds at this point. But, um, you know, as we tick down five minutes away to towards that totality, you know, thank God for our Your TV um, operations in uh, Kingston and Cornwall along the St. Lawrence because... Uh, um, for example, Cornwall's got a really, really nice shot, uh, as you can see on your screen, of, uh, of the moon as it reaches totality. So uh, we're working as a team, Mike, that's for sure. We can see it right now. We've got, we've got a view of the eclipse right outside the Your TV building. We're in the parking lot. Darkness has descended. Cloud cover has just moved away, and we've got a perfect view of the eclipse. And it is in its totality, it seems, right now, because I don't need to have the glasses on to watch it. It's an amazing, an amazing experience. It's very cold here. And, and for a small, brief period, you could see the, um, uh, the, the, the whole ring of the, the sun around the moon, so it was cool. But I will, uh, I, I will tell you that it is starting to light up, so uh, we must have been passing our three or four a minute now. But uh, what a sight. Fantastic sight. Here at the Your TV studios, we did, as you uh, probably know, we stepped outside and we were able to see probably about 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds of totality. Uh, how amazed are you? Mike, wasn't that cool? That was out of this world. And um, the best part about it was, even though we were um, uh, 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 witnessing totality, you talked about being in the parking lot with the lights coming on. All of the lights from the hotels stuck out as well. Everybody was, uh, 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 I wouldn't say screaming, but they, they certainly were not quiet. They were very excited and all the woos and the wows. They were, uh, they, they were very present and um, you can't blame them, right? That was uh, quite the sight that we just witnessed.